Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, it's going to be a little bit more van life related. Uh, this is my first day living full time in the van. And I'll be truthful with you, it hasn't gone very well. This morning, <clears throat> I parked up. I mean, to be fair, it was on a uh, industrial estate. And I thought it was quiet. I stayed there a couple of times with some friends and stuff like that. Just having a little bit of a weekend away. And uh, there's a lot of amenities, lots of shops nearby. But it seemed that it was a bit of a boy racer. Uh, oval drift circuit. But the old DK is going on. And what with being full time now. I say it's my first day. Uh, leaving home and stuff like that been quite difficult in fact it's been extremely difficult I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to be a blabbering wreck on the channel but what I want to do is under no illusions for the first day anyway is van life easy being full time and going away is completely two kettle of fish I mean, at home, on the driveway, <clears throat> the van is like always in the sun, banging in the solar, then I go on a long drive, the batteries are fully topped up, now I have to rely on this van for everything. So you drive it differently, I mean, you dr I'll be dr I drive this like a bit of a granny really, unless I'm on a dual carriageway, and then I can give it a bit, because I don't want the DPF to block up and stuff like that so i've been driving it like quite carefully and i do need to buy some fuel so at the moment i'm still working i'm still doing my daily job but i'm now having to find somewhere close to work so i'm not just like wasting diesel and also i want to get there on time so this morning i woke up and i thought right i'll have a cup of coffee well that didn't happen. Stupidly, I've got my jet boil. I knew I was getting low on gas. It ran out. So I never had a cup of coffee. So just a glass of water. And I thought I'd had a croissants and stuff like that in the van. No. No. So I went shopping. I went to Halfords. Halfords actually really good. So uh, I've bought, where is it? I bought a big canister from Alfred's. Look at that, look, six quid. I don't think that was too bad, actually. And that's going to go on a jet boil. So now I can have my coffee. And it's like, I know people say, well, you've got solar, you've got induction, you've got air fryer. Well, I did think that I'd uh, use an induction hob. But I left the kettle at home, or back at the house, so I couldn't. And it wasn't until this morning, uh, somebody on Facebook, Ali, <laughs> she said, oh, you could have used a pan. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Stupid me. So what with being woken up at like two o'clock in the morning, then having no coffee, it was just like a, uh, it, it didn't go well. It didn't go well in my, you know, like you thought, it was like the Hancock moment. But there you go, that is the struggles. So I've done a little bit of shopping. Done a bit of shopping. So I went to Halfords, bought the gas canister, went to Home Bargains. I've dipped into my YouTube money, which was only like 75 quid. And I've still got to buy diesel. So I've just spent another £6.50 or whatever it was in Home Bargains. Got myself some bits and pieces. But then again, I've just looked up here and I've got a kitchen roll. And I know it sounds really trivial, but when you're at home and you've got all the cupboard space, you've got a big kitchen and you get all these amenities, just turn the kettle on or fill it up with water, turn the kettle on. So I haven't even checked out my water situation yet. So I don't really know how much water I've got. 
so I'll have to address that later. Uh, I've got to go to Tesco's again because it's the cheapest way I need to get fuel, even though where I live, or lived, Tesco's was cheaper there than it is where I am now. A bit strange because I just thought they'd be completely the same, but I suppose it's demand, isn't it? So, yeah, all, all I've got in the freezer <laughs> is some ice cream. Packet of chicken fries like KFC. These are really lovely. I love these. In the air fryer, 10 minutes, KFC. I've got some chip shop fish fillets, fish fingers, and just a little pizza. That's all that's in my freezer. I've completely underestimated this. I really have. And I think that's the thing between going away in your van and using it as a two-week getaway vehicle and then actually having to rely on it. Silly little things like parking up. Oh, well, the internet's not very good or the phone signal's not very good. But hopefully where I'm going to be tonight is different and the internet's going to be a little bit better because I need to update stuff. I just know it's on my Victron app. Uh, also... One thing I want to do is I want to change the Wi-Fi name from Project Camper because if you get like people coming around and they go on their phone and start looking, oh, there's a camper van over there. I've taken all the stickers off the side. So if you notice in previous videos, I had <coughs> Shoreline Marine, uh, Camp Quirky, not Camp Quirky, another camping thing, Camp Creator. Uh, van life stickers and stuff like that I had, it, I had them all on the glass so i've taken all them off and i know you can't really say this doesn't look like a camper van but it just looks like a in all fairness it looks a bit like a utility vehicle with the wi-fi aerials on it, it looks doesn't really look like a camper van well i don't think it does anyway so i want to keep it as much stealthy non-stickered up as possible so I need to change the Wi-Fi name to something else I don't know I'll probably change it to like HMR surveillance or just HMRC or something like that so it's a bit undercovery if you know what I mean because Project Camper just spells that's a camper van so I want to do that and it's all these little things that I didn't really think about so water uh just fill it up at home so i'll probably just have to hopefully just get a couple of well, bottles like that and just fill them up i mean i'll probably i think that'd be enough and then there's things like my shower is not finished so it'd be strip washes which i don't mind you know but i still don't have hot water the, the plan was, was eventually have hot water from the engine into a chlorifier. And then that's got a heater element in there as well. So the solar dump via the Victron thing, pretty much like I sort of tried doing, but I didn't do it. So it's one of those things that now if I need hot water, I've got to boil it. So there's quite a lot of stuff that I haven't really thought about. Uh, I've always wanted to be full-time in the van for the last quite a few years, to be fair. But actually, this is my first day and, yeah, it hasn't gone very well. Stuff like laundry, even silly little things like my toilet, emptying my toilet. I used to just take it home swish it out it did stink but that was good enough time for me to clean the downstairs bathroom so now i've got to think about dumping toilet waste water fuel power hopefully i mean it's been a, a lovely sunny day but strangely i don't know why wherever i park it always seems to be under a tree or in the shade 
So that's another thing I'm going to now have to think about. Getting rid of waste, uh, trash, rubbish. Uh, but I suppose that can be not too bad. <clears throat> if I'm a little bit methodical about it, just keep it low. And if I go shopping, I can use Tesco's dustbins, I suppose. And there's the other thing as well. Uh, everyone knows I do like a bit of a beer. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's another thing, isn't it? It's, it's great sitting in the middle of a field with a load of mates and stuff like that, or going out for the weekend, parked up. But now, the whole dynamics of that have changed. So, you know, maybe one can, two cans of Fosters or something like that. So if you do get a knock, you know, and you do have to move, touch wood, won't be over the limit. And then slowly just knock it on the head. And it is all down to money, because I'm still gonna give Sarah money, but I also need money to live. And I'm gonna keep my receipts and see how much I'll spend. I've still got to buy diesel. Uh, and I still got to buy more food, but as I said earlier, now I'm limited to where I'll put it. And at the moment, to be fair, I really don't feel like eating. I struggled last night to eat something. I threw up everywhere because my stomach's in knots. That's just the thing, isn't it? Of like, it's my first day, and that hasn't gone right. So. Hopefully, this is a bit of an insight. It's my first, as I say, it's my first day. And I'm going to try and do, like, daily vlogs. Keep you lot informed. Hopefully re-energise the channel a little bit. Because there might be people out there thinking, yeah, I wouldn't mind having a go at van life. Uh, and I know there's loads and loads of channels out there. Uh, probably explaining things a little bit better. But I don't know if anyone's done. This is my first day. My first day of van life. And it hasn't gone very well. It's not Instagram. It's not Facebook. It's not glitzy. It is. Just. The way it is. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. Hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to give me a like. Click that little subscribe button. And wherever the notification bell is, give that a ding. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking by me. See you later.